In the previous unit, we discovered a way to evaluate expressions in sentential logic, namely the use of truth tables, a purely mechanical procedure that requires only an understanding of the rules that attach to sentential connectives and a little practice with the constructing of the tables. We also learned about logical constants and non-logical symbols. The logical constants in sentential logic are the sentential connectives and the parentheses, while the non-logical symbols are the sentence letters. The truth table method will also involve giving an interpretation of sentences, but we'll keep things very simple. We will not be concerned with what the individual sentence letters represent. We will only care whether they are true or false. In effect, we'll just assign truth values, T's and F's, to the sentence letters. As we've seen, the truth or falsity of larger compound sentences in sentential logic is just a function of the truth or falsity of their smaller parts. Any larger sentence of sentential logic is composed of atomic sentences with sentential connectives. The truth value of a compound sentence depends only on the truth value of the atomic sentences that it contains and the rule for the connective or connectives that are used. In order to know the truth value of A ampers and B, for instance, you only need to know the truth value of A and the truth value of B, along with the rule for conjunction. Connectives that work in this way are called truth functional. More technically, we define a truth functional connective as an operator that builds larger sentences out of smaller ones and fixes the truth value of the resulting sentence based only on the truth value of the component sentences and the rules for their combination. Truth tables can serve many purposes, including identifying tautologies, contradictions, and contingencies, but their most important use is in validating arguments. Consequently, being able to construct and interpret a truth table is an essential skill for a critical thinker. We've already looked at the individual truth tables for our five sentential connectives, but here they are compressed for review purposes in this master table. The script letters A and B in the header row stand for metavariables, that is, any variable whatsoever. On the far left is the truth table for negation, and on the right is the truth table for the other four connectives. As you can see, the truth table for negation is shorter than the other table. This is because there is only one variable there, A, which can either be true or false. The other connectives involve two variables, which gives us four possibilities for combining the values of true and false. The columns to the left of the double line in these tables are called reference columns. They specify the truth values of the individual variables with each row of the table assigning a different set of truth values to the variables. The full table supplies every possible combination of truth values for the sentence. The truth table for any sentence that contains only one connective can be found by looking at the characteristic truth table for that connective. So the truth table for the sentence P ampers and Q looks just like the characteristic truth table for conjunction found in our master table, but with the variables P and Q forming a substitution instance for the metavariables A and B. The truth tables for more complex sentences can be built up from the master table for these basic sentences. Next up, we'll see how to construct a truth table.